Okay, so what we're doing is we're taking, we're taking your blood out, put it into that bottle, and then he's going to put ozone, which is basically oxygen. It's high-powered oxygen. Normally, oxygen is two atoms. Ozone is three. That means it's got more power to it. When that three-atom oxygen, called ozone, interacts with your blood, it changes the way the blood works. So in medicine, we call this a biological response modifier. It modifies the way you, the cells in your body work. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like exercise in a way. So if you go out and you start to exercise, and you exercise hard enough, over a while the training effect takes over and affects the way your body works. Mm -hmm. It's not like a drug. A lot of people think of ozone as being like a drug. It's not really a drug. It's more like a vaccine if I had to compare it to something okay. uh, because it, it is not really uh, you know, having a, a direct medical effect. It's changing the way your body responds. It's a biological response modifier. That explains what, what, what doctors have such a difficulty with, and that is, the biggest question is, number one, how can this stuff be so good? And number two, more amazingly, how can it be so good in 40 different things? <laughs> and like everything. Yeah. How can I virtually give ozone to every patient I see almost? Whether they have autoimmune disease, whether they have cancer, whether they have cardiovascular disease, whether they have migraines, whether they have diarrhea, whatever they have, I give them ozone, they get better. How is that possible? It's not possible if it's a drug. There's no drug like yeah. this. Yeah. And, and doctors and sometimes patients, they think of it as like a drug, and it doesn't make sense to them. Yeah. But if they think of it as a biological response modifier, something that modifies the way the body is responding. When I get sick, it's because something is impacting on me, and I'm responding to that in a way that is sort of inappropriate and is going to create a problem. Mm -hmm. And, and what, what ozone does is it changes the way the body responds. There's all kinds of biochemistry, there's physiology, all kinds of explanations we can give to further explain that. But in essence, that's the bottom line. That's why it works and that's how it works, is by changing the way your body responds. And the fascinating thing is, I give ozone to you, I change the way your body responds this way, I give the same ozone to another guy, I change the way his body responds in a different way. Yeah. It, it, it just sort of looks at what's going on and modifies the response in that individual in the correct way. Okay. So, um, Dr. Lamberto Ray explained to us that it creates NFR2. Mm, yeah. Uh, which is that, that oxidative response. This would be an example. When your body gets challenged mm -hmm. with an oxidant stress, say for example, it stimulates the NRF2 system. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now it, if it stimulates it appropriately, everything's fine. But if it doesn't stimulate the system appropriately, now we got a problem. Mm -hmm. Ozone is a biological response modifier. It modifies your response, and if your body's not responding with that NRF2 system adequately, it'll make it respond adequately. Uh, okay. Whatever it's supposed to do, it makes it do it better. Yeah. And that's why it's applicable to so many different diseases. You know, I, I, I would like doctors to kind of think of ozone as kind of like exercise in a bottle. <laughs> exercise in a bottle because if, if, you, if you go look up exercise and various diseases, you'll find out that there are studies that very clearly show that exercise will prevent almost every disease there is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it's like that. Exercise is a biological response modifier. Yeah. You know, if when my sick patient came in and I could tell him, listen, go start running marathons, I'd probably make him well. Yeah. But he can't do that. So this is what we do, and this is why it works. Well, without the side effects, because for a marathon, you get sick knees and all sorts of yeah, problems. Yeah, yeah, well. So it's probably less. less but you get the idea, <laughs> though, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what is, see, a lot of people always are worried, like, can I take too much? We can take too much homeopathic. We can take too much anything. Mm. Now, that multipass is a new thing. So is it, do we know whether we overdo it, whether we stimulate too much or not? What is your experience? You, you definitely can do it too much. You can do it <laughs> too You can much. do it not enough. Yeah. You can do it too much. Dose is everything. Yeah. And that's one of the principles of medicine. No matter whether you're giving drugs or whatever you're giving, the dose is critical. Yeah. If you give too small a dose, it doesn't work. Give too large a dose, you're going to have problems. Mm -hmm. This is true of ozone as well. 
And there are going to be some cases where very high doses are needed mm -hmm. and a small dose is not working and other cases where you better should use a small dose and the high dose is not a good idea. Okay. And this is what, what we need to learn more about. Yeah. And when you talk about small dose, you also talk about um, the minor autohemotherapy and, and rectal insufflations and things like that? Well, you can get a lot, of, you can get a very large dose with a rectal insufflation. Yeah. You get a tiny deal of dose with a minor. Right, a yeah. minor, you get a very small dose. And, uh, but, you know, uh, like a typical dose on a minor would be like uh, half a milligram. Yeah. And uh, uh, what you're getting here is going to be in the order of maybe 30 milligrams. It's going to be quite a large dose. We're not going to totally overdo you, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when we do this, this high dose technique, we start off low so we can monitor how the patient's doing. Okay, so that and you don't go into that. Absolutely, oh, yeah. Have you tried it for yourself? I have done it myself too? many times. I have amazing stories to tell about the high dose treatment. Okay. But one of the things that we've learned is, you know, you just you don't immediately give somebody a big high dose. You start off small. You watch how they respond. And yeah. sometimes, sometimes I'll say I want, say, a hundred milligram dose. And after a while, I say, you know what? I don't think I want that. I think I want a 50 milligram dose or a 30 milligram dose or something that's more appropriate for that person. Okay. Is the Hammond the only machine that does it, or could you do it with the other machines as well? Yes. Yeah, so, so I also have the other machine over there. Yeah. Uh, this is a Zeitzman's machine. I have that one, the yeah. Zeitzman. And uh, then this one here that works, and they both work well. They just work in kind of a different way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we don't, and we also use other techniques. We can ozonate saline. Mm -hmm. In the seminar, you'll, you'll see we talk a lot about that. And as you pointed out, you can take it as a rectal insufflation. You can... Uh, the saline or insufflation? The, the, the insufflation gas. of the gas. Of the gas, yeah, yes, yeah. not the saline. And you can take it as a sauna. Yes. So you can take like it transdermally, homocrit. yeah. So there's lots of ways to get it in. Mm -hmm. Uh, and sometimes I prefer one way over another based upon the condition of the patient. Certainly. Yeah. But in a way, if we conclude, in a way it doesn't really matter how you get it in, as long as you get it in and you need to use the mucosa. The mucosa I, think it, I think it does sometimes. Uh, uh, for example, I think there's going to be some conditions where rectal is preferred, yeah. some conditions where sauna is preferred, Mm -hmm. uh, some conditions where blood is preferred, some conditions where a combination of those is preferred. And so we will kind of switch around yeah. and try and find the best way. Yeah. Well, it definitely is a fantastic treatment. And like I said, I've never had any, <laughs> anything that had so much positive feedback, even in small quantities and in small doses. That's, that right there is an excellent testimony. Yeah. You know, just, just what you just said. You're, you're dealing with all these things and all of a sudden this feedback you're getting back. Because yeah. that's what we see. Yeah. You know, I teach all these doctors how to do this treatment. And, I mean, they'll call me back and they'll say, I can't believe this. <laughs> I can't really believe that it yeah. works like this. And, and if I were a doctor that didn't know anything about this, and I listened to me talk about it, I would think I was crazy. Because <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. There's nothing in medicine like this. Yeah. Not that I know about.